Rewind to the 70s. When mainframes ruled, the Rolling Stones rocked, a second spacecraft flew men to the moon on less computing power than your laptop. And five engineers in a distant corner of Germany jump from big blue and start rewriting the future. Plattner, Hopp, Hector, Shearer, Fellenruther, five unconventional men, friends, fellow IBMers. We wanted to do something inside IBM and they said, oh, we have other people uh, who will do this and we met them and we said, okay, not with them. We cannot work with them and we cannot work for them. So let us do it ourselves, so bye-bye. We saw a market market in it. There was no standard software for the business. They saw a market that didn't exist yet, standardized software to integrate business processes. They launched SAP on a shoestring and never looked back. The genius of, of SAP was to say, well, I, why don't we just sit down with some customers and actually embed ourselves in a real live company and see what they're doing and try to make something that helps them do their jobs. Their enterprise computing vision propels them through the 80s and 90s. Swiftly takes SAP from card punchers to paradigm shifters to global market leaders. R3 was amazingly revolutionary. It was an open software based, it ran on Unix systems, was pretty much the biggest, most comprehensive piece of client server software anybody had ever made. R3 changed the way business did business and put SAP at the center of mission critical processes. It was followed by another leap, SAP NetWeaver, an open platform that fully integrated companies' SAP and non-SAP systems in one environment. It really started re-architecting the entire enterprise software industry as a result. We were ständig vom Markt bestätigt worden. We had Erfolge, we had immer neue Kunden gewonnen and uh, es ging stetig aufwärts. Da war um, gar kein Platz dafür, Pessimist zu sein. SAP rises globally across 130 countries and gives business a launching pad to grow and work globally. One of the really intelligent and, and prescient moves that SAP made was to say, okay, we're, gonna, we're not just going to be an applications company, we're also going to be a platform company. We're going to build that foundational element that, that allows it, us to extend into the enterprise and across the enterprise at a functional level. Serving business from the inside out meant constantly listening, learning, evolving, from meshing systems with the internet to defining SOA standards. You have to catch the right wave. You can be in the water all the day, so you miss the wave what, because you're talking to somebody else too long, you miss it. You have to be on that one. So we wrote that wave, that timing was perfect. The hyper-acceleration of commerce, the era of big data, the surge of social media, all three are converging, creating new challenges, new waves of opportunity. The metabolism of the world is speeding up so much between the beginning of time and the year 2003, humanity created five exabytes of information. That's a lot. In the last 12 hours, we created five exabytes of information. The challenge is to, to derive meaning from it and to be able to analyze it. Now business needs to unwire its people, it needs millisecond fast answers, super simplified IT, frictionless operations, enterprise cloud power. And so, SAP HANA, a platform to get the right answers to the right people at the right time, on any device, by enabling complex analysis of big data that was never possible before, never practical. We have millions of users all around the world, and it was uh, clear to us that understanding in real time who these customers are, what they're using, and how they want to be served with Adobe software was going to be mission critical. We have a new global information technology platform now for business leaders to reinvent their entire industries and in doing so to position us to have a, a next century of, of, of wealth creation, of economic and social development. With all what we know and the new technologies we have, which is the, uh, the data management platform, which is the uh, messaging platform, and uh, the mobile infrastructure, with these uh, two components and the application experience, we can redefine applications. 40 years ago, 
five men pioneered an industry and led a company that changed the way the world runs. That same breakthrough innovation powers SAP today and will help enterprises become the best-run businesses of the next 40 years.